And I'm going to do a uh, solo run up to level 75 in hardcore seasonal season 20 with the witch doctor and I'm using the Mundungu set I don't know how to pronounce that Mundungu set with the gazing demise of the barbers in the cube which is a weapon property very helpful and soul harvest and I don't run the traditional build. I'm running zombie dogs and fetish army. I don't run piranha nados and whatever else, locust swarm. I just kind of have my own little build here. But it should be sufficient to get me to 75 alive. I will start at Greater Rift 73 here. Embrace your power and you will survive. Don't let me... There's really nothing to running this build uh, the way I run it. Uh, I come up, I have a soul harvest on my left mouse button, and I use that to soul harvest. I then hit two and four in case uh, my cooldowns occurred for fetishes and big bad voodoo. Uh, when I get towards the rift boss, I will try to keep the timing right so I can hit uh, Big Bad Booty for sure with this uh, rip boss. I run away from anything scary. I try to engage from a distance. It, it, you know, Soul Harvest does sort of require some amount of distance closing. With the Spirit Barrage and how it's set up with uh, the Gazing Demise and the Butcher, you can just kind of spam out uh, the Spirit Barrage and it creates these explosions. So I don't really uh, worry too much about a lot of details here. I just spam out the explosions on the, on the Elites here. Otherwise, I just try to keep my soul harvest up and just go through my rotation, which is soul harvest, uh, fetish, big bad voodoo, and then the uh, spirit barrage. Uh, there wasn't a lot of enemies to kill there. I tend to kill as I go just because it's safer for me. I don't run from uh, elite pack to elite pack. And no way am I suggesting this is the best way to play or the best build. Just how I'm doing it. Oh, I also think the top builds might use Convention of Elements. And then they go through some uh, elemental damage to do max damage. But the top builds are also pushing rifts over 100 and they need to be pretty much perfect and do, you know, the, the maximum possible damage. I'm guessing I can rift up to 80 once I get all my gear augmented. I have about half of my gear augmented with intelligence. Uh, they're anywhere between 65 and I think 73 the levels. I've only been playing this character for two weeks, so I don't have all the best gear, but I got a primal, and I, you know, I got a pretty good set of ancients because I tried re-rolling some of them and really didn't end up with anything better. My curse upon me. So I, I like the gear I have. It's working out. I'm not even going to bother going back for those orbs. They're on the absolute other side there.
And on 73, I'm not having any problems. I'm not losing any. I'm not seeing my life go down at all. So this builds good up to at least 73 here. The only thing I get scared about is those uh, pulse death explosions. When you're playing in hardcore, the big thing is you gotta kill the Rift boss pretty quickly, or it starts to get kinda dicey. They have a lot of uh, AoE on the ground. I find that if I let the Rift boss live too long, I start feeling like maybe I need to run away and abandon the instance. But I've been steadily improving the character since the last really scary Rift boss I fought, so... So I'm just holding down Spirit Barrage here. I mean, there's probably better tactic here. I mean, really, you can have three up at a time, but... I'd rather just hold it hold it down and the explosions are happening all the time. It's just not building up the damage for the barber like maybe is optimal. I I'm not even gonna worry about the blood shards. My name is When the you have it, let's see what we can do. That was 73. Your trial. I'm guessing 74 will be no harder. 75, I have never played, so. I mean, not at this uh, season hardcore. So we'll find out how hard it is. Now those guys are a pain. I mean, they charge you and they can do a lot of damage. But I didn't see my death trigger, so I'm good. The truth burns. Now the best builds use all like special damage, kind of like Bane of the Trapped or uh, Bane of the Powerful. I, I don't know, they run that kind of thing. They run extra pet damage because Phantasms are pets, at least until they, they're nerfed, which is going to be soon. Uh, I run everything to stay alive, so I run, uh, what is it? Uh, Yeah, like Molten Wildebeest Gizzard and uh, Moratorium and uh, Esoteric Alteration to stay alive. So maybe if I had a different play style or a different build, I, I would do that differently. But I'm doing hardcore. I don't want to die. And I don't have... Uh... Well, I was kind of... Uh... I I've actually died three times this season. I really didn't want to do it again, so I built a more 
damage resistant build. Should I get the conduit? These enemies defy all reason. It needs more time. It's kind of fun. Your evil undoes you. I need more time. I don't have much cooldown on my spirit walk, so I'm slow. I think I, I saw something in hardcore chat in the game where someone said you should have 50% cooldown. I think I'm somewhere around 30%. 50% would certainly be nice. I just don't have that build set up that way. Maybe I should have more cooldown than I do. Need more time. Need more time. My strike is true. Doorways tend to be the thing that scare me the most in hardcore because that's where I've died a few times. For some reason, you walk into a doorway, and I don't know, maybe my I didn't have the soul harvest set up correctly or whatever, and there was like an explosion of some kind from monsters. I don't know if it's the ones that explode their guts out or what, but I mean, I just insta died at a doorway a few times. But anything out in the open, I don't I don't get scared because I can run away. Spirit walk can get you out of a lot of messes if you're quick on the draw. I'm trying to get my big bad voodoo back up there. My soul harvest stacks are fine, which is exactly what you want. I was having trouble killing him. I cannot carry more. about the uh, stupid blood shards again. I am returning to town. My passives are spiritual attunement, spirit vessel, swamp land attunement, and tribal rights. Along with on a Hellfire amulet, I have Confidence Ritual, which I think is damage at close range. I'd actually like a little bit different Hellfire amulet, but this is it's all right. It, it works. It's just not my favorite. Thank you for coming here. There are many. Well, all right, level seventy-five. I have not tried this yet on Solo Hardcore. You 
On lower levels, I just run through this stuff, but on higher levels, I want to be careful. As I am playing hardcore, if I die, I'm permadead, so... I don't see the point to rushing through, taking risks. Need more time. Your evil undoes you. These enemies defy all reason. So the elite mobs aren't causing me any problems there at all. Needs more time. My curse upon you. Sarah, it can be fun. Sometimes there's a bunch of elites down here, and then needs more time. You can get taken by surprise, especially if you just enter the dungeon. The truth burns. Want to do the Rift Guardian at this level? I, I definitely prefer the wide open levels, never possible, but likely this will be where we get the Rift Guardian. and I'm going to hold off from my big bad voodoo and fetishes until I spawn the Rift Guardian. I don't need him against these other mobs. The truth burns! Oh, I was hoping to get the Rift Guardian here where I have a little open room to work in. The Rift Guardian is here. Let's see, where is it at? See, I don't find any difference if I just stop, you know, casting Phantasm for a moment. Let the damage build up and then... All right, 75. No problem I at all. Carry anymore. Thanks for watching.